Tim Hortons Field in Hamilton, Ontario. A city known for its steel and a club known for its medals. But Calgary, out of Calgary, Alberta, are trying to medal with the D. LaForge have been able to present to the Canadian Premier League over the first four years of its existence. Bobby Smyrniotis is presiding over his 150th match for Forge. That is a tie that's, or a record, excuse me, that spans across CONCACAF League, Champions League, the Canadian Premier League, and the Canadian Championship. And he has been forced into making three changes to his starting 11 today. A 3-4-1-2 for Tommy Wielden Jr.'s side today. Just the one change, and that is the first start since 2021 right here in Hamilton for Tom Field. And with Cavalry having a more successful season, points and win wise than for Marco Carducci closing in on Tristan Henry's current lead. And CPL wins, tested by Benny Bonga as he dives to his left to make the stop. Daily touch to control, looking towards Camargo. Ramon at first, hard field for Meyer Bevan turning, firing, deflecting off Samuel. But Tristan Henry ready to pounce and makes the catch. The Olympics in the not so distant future. Camargo leads field into the box and tries to sneak it to fool Tristan Henry. Down goes Bevan in the process as well, but the ball stayed in play. Cavalry still on it. Shown. Gets it caught in his feet before he can try a shot. And it was a bit of a chaotic sequence in minute 27. Gotta remove the ball until something opens up and play through them. Perhaps like this. Trying to go near post. Marco Carducci for the third time in 31 minutes. Called into action. Now it's a green light for Shamit. Deep ball headed back across Smith Doyle. Camargo runs on now. Bevan lost at his feet. Outlet for Fields. Can not keep it on frame? That first minute expires. This Becker. The Canadian International is going up ahead with it. And now following up Casillas on the form. He's in. You would have expected that at the very least to be on target, but he puts it over the woodwork. And it is one final chance for Forge. Heavy tackle, gets the ball first. Casillas curls it down through, and Kyle Becker is at full gallop. Becker goes at Carducci. Can't keep it on frame. Daly with the dummy, lets it roll. Smith Doyle for Bevin, loses it in his feet. Samuel backtracking, Daly's gonna go again. He's on side, it's promising. He was on, but the shot was not. Huge moment for Sergio as he looked to score in back-to-back -back games. It's great play from the Cavs and Jimmy. This slick turf is causing some issues. Sissoko. Ashley Janssen completely unmarked into the side netting. I thought he got a touch there. It's a good strike. Rama. Outside of his foot and a flick for Taryn Campbell. Into the 80th minute of the match. This is Mandrakar James. Sissoko turns, opens up the lane and cannot find target. Off the back of the head of Shamid Shum. Duncan collects the loose ball but blows a tire. And this could be dangerous for Cavalry. Akio played through by Ali Moussi. Ashton Yudi Janssen comes through and steals the ball away. to the races, Sissoko is going to be booked for a tactical foul, but in the meantime, it's still on for Cavalry as they try to win it at the death again. Daly goes out wide. Now the cross from Aaron, but it's cut off by Becker. Cavalry throw. Never mind. Full-time whistles are blown. And it is Forge and Cavalry history. The first nil-nil draw in 24 meetings.